Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Okay, so there you go. Uh, good evening, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, how is your Wednesday? Wednesday going? I feel like today is Friday. I have no idea why. So I hope you're having a nice Wednesday, guys. Uh, Dinora, thank you so much for joining. Hi, Maurice. Thank you for your camera. Hi, Hi Abigail. How you doing? Amalia, good evening. How are you, Miss? Hi, Ezekiel. Hi, Hi Michelle. Good evening. Damaris, great to see you. How you doing? How are you, Kenya? Is everything okay, guys? Everything good? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Nice to see you there. How are you guys? Is everything okay? Are you having a good day? Ya estamos en el ombliguito de la semana, right? So we are about to finish. Are you doing all right? Sort of, kind no. of. Están bien, guys. I hope you're doing all right. All right, so thank you guys for joining uh, in today's session. So we are moving with session number number eight today, right? And, uh, oh, no, sorry, number seven. And uh, we're going to continue working a little bit with uh, unit number two. Guys, um, gracias por a los compañeros que han estado trabajando en la plataforma. I was checking that uh, hay varios compañeros que ya avanzaron bastante en las sesiones y algunos ya van en la sesión número cuatro. So thank you so much for that. Gracias por avanzar, por completar los ejercicios. It is really, really nice um, that you can move forward. Well, guys, eh, to get started, vamos a revisar un par de cositas today. Eh, especially, we are going to review questions utilizando um, there is and there are. Vamos a revisar instrucciones y direcciones, cómo hablar de direcciones en general. Uh, en caso se nos haya olvidado or you don't remember, so we're going to go little by little in that regard. And uh, uh, yeah, those are part of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, so guys, let's get started um, without further delay. And I have a little uh, exercise vocabulary review for you. Take a look, guys, at the current exercise here. And it says, read the clues and fill in the missing letters. So, um, really quick. No sé qué tan buenos son. I don't know how good you are, how fast you can think, right? Uh, but uh, it says here, number 16 is really difficult. Guys, ayúdenme a encontrar las palabras. Help me please find the word. Hi, Juanjo, good evening. And good evening. Uh, Michelle, great to see you. A lady, good evening. Thank you for joining too. Already, guys. So take a look at this one. Um, so what is the word? What is the palabra that we are missing? Like um, like in these spots. If you take a look, um, hay unas líneas, there are some lines, so you can uh, try to think about a word. It gives you some clues, right? So what are the missing words, guys? ¿Qué falta? What is missing? Any idea what is missing here? So let's do the following. Si encuentran la palabra, if you find the word, um, give me the word and I'm going to be writing it here. Or even better. Deme un segundo. Let me see si les puedo um, habilitar la notación. Mm, está habilitada. So it is enabled para que ustedes también puedan escribir. So you can write over there. Um, for example, guys, number one, I can borrow a book here. What is the place? The first, and we are giving these three letters, R, A, and R. So what's missing? What's the word? There are. 
Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. What was that? Can you say that again? And the idea, guys, you can borrow. How do you call the places where you can borrow books? I can borrow a book here. What is the place? A library. Ah, very nice. Okay, so that is the library. Let me just um go here. L I B. L I B. And letter Y. Okay, nice. So we got it. Okay, so that is the library. I think it goes that way. Yes, very nice. Uh, what about the rest? Help us with the rest. Thank you. Thank you, Kenya. Okay. Market. Ah, it's the market. market. Yes, nice. The stoop. Right. Super. Okay. Super. Mark. Okay, so supermarket. Oh, wait, what's going on? Okay, uh, supermarket. Okay, very nice. So we got supermarket. What else, guys? What is missing? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Okay. Pharmacy. pharmacy, yes. A pharmacy, A R A T. Okay, so pharmacy, yes. There we go. You can study here. How do you call it? Number four? Cool. 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 Ah, yeah. Very good. School, exactly. So the S is already there. So we are just missing O and no. Okay, very good. School. There we go. You can see all things here. What museum. is that? Museum. museum. Excellent. That's a museum. Museum. Okay. And I see that Kenya has written also number six. You can see a lot of animals here. Very good. That sounds like a zoo. Okay, nice. Uh, guys, number seven, you can buy bread here, like Samita, um, Maria Zoo. Lisa. What is the place? Zoo. Number six, yes, it is a zoo. And number seven, zoo. you can buy bread here. What is the place? Bakery. Bakery, yes, very nice. So that is a bakery. Uh, number eight, bank. you can keep your money here. What's that? Bank. 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 Uh huh. That's a bank. bank. That's a bank. Number nine, you can see a doctor Clinic. here. Clinic. Clinic. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay. Number ten, Clinic. you can Clinic. you can exercise here. What is that? Gym. A gym. Gym. Okay. Yes. Good. Our favorite place. Number 11, you can eat here. Restaurant. restaurant. Excellent. That's a restaurant. Okay. Number 12, you can buy a postage stamp here. Ah, what is that? Two words. Post office. Post office. Post office. Ah, very good. Very good. Number 13, you can get on a plane here. April. 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 Airport. Uh huh. And you can buy a cat here. Where can you buy a cat? Pet shop. Pet shop, exactly. That's a pet shop. Number 15, guys. You can play outside here. That's really easy, I think. Park. 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 Exactly. That's a park. And number 16. Supposedly this is more this is difficult. I don't know. You can walk here. Let me take a look. Mm. Hey, so can you got it? All right. Uh, oh, that was too easy, maybe. Okay. No <laughs> Very nice I job, Kenya. Yes, that is a sidewalk, exactly. So sidewalk is like the acera, right? What is on the on the side of the street? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, we that's payment doesn't fit, but yes, we can use sidewalk. Okay. Very nice, guys. And those are the most common places in town we can get. Now, vamos a revisar también un poquito de preposiciones. We're going to review prepositions in case you have forgotten. 
Uh, guys, cuando hablamos de prepositions, hablamos de posiciones. Eh, la posición donde está el objeto, where is your phone, what is uh, in your pocket and everything. Um, so, ¿qué preposiciones se recuerdan, guys? What do you remember? Preposición. don't remember at, much? On, on at. at. Uh -huh. uh, in. In, okay, yeah. Yeah, sounds all right, sounds good. Okay, guys, vamos a revisarlas un poquito. Let's try to remember them a little bit. Hi, Julio, good evening. Thank you for joining. Um, can you some... No, that's it. All right, guys, so vamos a usar las manos. We're gonna use your hands para recordarlas. Um, this is going to be, este va a ser mi objeto y esta va a ser, well, la posición y el objeto, right? I'm going to use my hands and guys, ayúdenme también con la de ustedes para que sea mucho más fácil recordarles. Uh, remember, todos aprendemos de forma diferente. Uh, so, si ustedes aprenden moviéndose or doing something, let's give it a try. Okay, um, so guys, um, this is my object and this is my, this is the position. So this is in, repeat with me please, in, in, on, on, wait. I'm going to eliminate the filter, guys. Hold on. The filter is not going to um, it's not going to let us do it. So, well, it's not going to let me. Okay. Okay, guys. So, let's do it here. Uh, this is in. 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 Out. Out. On. On. Under. On. Under. In front of. In front. Behind. Behind. Up. Behind. Like, up. hacia arriba, right? Up. 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 Down. 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 Mm. Over. 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 Between. Between. Okay, so those are the prepositions. Okay, guys, now, intenten, uh, try to do it with me. De hecho, hay una canción, there is a song. Uh, que se llama la canción de las proposiciones, so we can learn them. So it is called, let me write them, y luego intentamos um, hacerlo lo más rápido que podamos. So this is in, out, on, under, in front of, behind, behind or behind, como ustedes quieran. So in, uy, me falta una letra, sorry. In front of, behind, up, down, over, and between. Okay, guys, so let me try to do it. Um, same thing, si pueden activar la camarita y nos ayudan with your hands, that would be nice. And nos recordamos mucho más fácil cuando usamos nuestro cuerpo. Too. So, really quick, guys. This is one, two, three. In, out, in, on, on, under, out, in front in, of, behind, on, up, on, down, up. Over, down, between. Over, between. Those are the ones. Ahora hagámoslo juntos. Let's do it together. In. In. Out. Out. On. Under. On. In front. Under. Behind. In front of. Behind. Behind. Up. Down. Up. Down. Over. Over. Sin tocarlo, right? Over. Between. Dream. Como en medio, I have it twin. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the one. Those are the ones. Okay, so um, if I ask you, for example, hey guys, what is in your pocket? ¿Qué hay dentro de sus bolsillos? What is in your pocket, guys? Money. Money? Okay. Well, you know the bolsillos. I don't have pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's, it's empty. Nothing. No me <laughs> pagaron. Yo. <laughs> no money, no, and come on, today is the 30th, today is payday. Vacía la cuenta. Vacía los pockets. Okay, what about it in your backpack? What is in your backpack, guys? Adentro de, right? What do you normally have in your backpack? Can I get some more Documents, chiles? personal documents. Okay, ID. Laptop. Personal computer. Computer, okay, so computer or laptop, eh, ID, driver's license. Si no, no es solo con el permiso de Dios, right? You got a driver's license. 
Can, what is in your backpack? ¿Qué andan dentro de su mochila? What is in your backpack? Headset. Headset, okay. Cell phone. Cell phone, all right. Glasses. My lunch. Glasses, lunch, okay. ¿Alguien anda zapatos extra? Do you have extra pair of shoes? Yes. Ah, okay. Extra shirt or extra blouse? Candies. Candy, okay. Cookies? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Candies, cookies. Miss, I got a big question. Anda hilo por casualidad? Hilo para coser? Do you have like some string? Mm -hmm. No. No. Yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. Okay. A face mask. Okay. A bottle of water. Okay. Nice. Guys, que cosas raras andan. What do you have in your backpack? <laughs> um, I mean, normally in my backpack, ando el cargador. How do you say cargador, guys? Charger. Charger. Exactly. So I have my, my charger, right? So my charger. Eh, pepper, oh my God, pepper spray, are you serious? A little mirror. <laughs> a little mirror, really? Do you have no, a little teacher, mirror? No, <laughs> no, creo que ahora usamos el teléfono, so we don't have like a little mirror. Guys, makeup, girls, and the maquillaje, do you have makeup with you? Solo cepillo y pasta de dientes. Uh, okay, how do you say that in English? How do you say cepillo and pasta de dientes? Um, brush. Brush. Uh, toothbrush and? Colgate. And toothpaste. Uh -huh. So tooth, uh, toothpaste. And tooth, uh, toothpaste. Colgate. <laughs> Solamente colgate. So only you have colgate. Okay, toothpaste. And brush. Okay. Alguien más anda algo super extraño? Do you have anything else? Wow. Yeah. Uh, Pepper spray. Nachos. Nachos. Yeah. The churrito, nachos. Some cookies, teacher. Some cookies? Mauricio, I'm sorry. I didn't catch it. ¿Cuál era la palabra? What is something you have? Cloth. Other, uh, other shirt. Ah, okay. Like another outfit. Okay. Another yeah. shirt. Okay. That's important. Some ¿Qué más fruits? andan, guys? Fruit. Oh. Teacher, sure. earphones. Earphones. Uh huh. So headphones, earphones. Okay, very yeah. nice. What else? ¿Qué cosas pen. raras andan? Wet towels. Ah, pen. Ah, toallitas húmedas. Some towels. Okay, or some na some napkins. Uh huh. Alguien anda papel higiénico. Toilet paper. Is there yes, some toilet sure. paper in your backpack? Okay, that's important. Um, también for women, um, a veces siempre andamos como de repuesto toallas sanitarias, right? So, le llamamos pads. So, we can have some extra pads or emergency pads just in case alguien las necesite. Anything else, guys? ¿Qué más andan de no común? Boys no andan nada. <laughs> Only Juan José, I heard fruit. But then... Ah, medicine. Yes, guys. Después de los, de los 30, we have <laughs> acetaminophen. So we have, what do you have as medicine? Something for allergies? O si toman medicina regular, I think. How do you say colas de cabello? Ah, rubber. Rubber bands or headbands. We can call them headbands or rubbers. Okay, okay, very nice. Great. So, like, look at this one. So, we have in, que es adentro, right? We have also out, like afuera. Alcadi. Ah, okay, for emergencies, yes. Yeah, so, we can have alcadi or something for <clears throat> stomachache, diarrhea, things like those. We have on. Guys, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre on and what is the difference con over? Se recuerda de las manos. Es cuando está sobre uh -huh. algo, por ejemplo, on the table. Y over es ah. como un cuadro que está, no está ni arriba de algo, pero que está, no sé cómo explicarlo. Yes, exactly. No, you did it nicely. So, guys, what is on your desk? 
¿Qué tienen sobre? What do you have on your table? What is on your table? My computer. Your computer. Okay. Yes. My notebook, my pens. Mm -hmm. uh, my bottle of water. Ah, okay. Yes. My, oh, mm -hmm. my keyboard. Ah, your keyboard too? Okay. So yes. you have a, a desktop. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, I see. Exactly. So as Abigail said, we use on like over a surface and over is like whatever is arriba, right? So maybe uh, we can have air conditioning, ceiling, the roof, anything that is like over you. Okay. Really, really nice. Um, also, we have in front. Guys, what's in front of you? The, the computer. A the computer? Laptop. A laptop? Or what else? Besides your computer, your laptops, what is in front of you? A wall? My cell phone. Your cell phone? External uh -huh. monitor. External monitor? External monitor. Uh, okay, okay, a screen. Uh, but besides, apart from like the computer, whatever you are using for the connection, uh, ¿Qué está enfrente? What is in front? Do you have a window in front? Is your living is your living room in front? What what is in front of you? The wall. A wall. A door. A door. Okay. What about behind? I mean, the door is behind me. What's behind you? Another wall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. 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 The the chair. <laughs> a chair, una silla, a chair. My guitars. Oh, do you play the guitar? Yes. Hey, we, we need a demo. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the module, we don't have Ken and Ken. But yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so guitars. Guys, ¿qué hay atrás de ustedes? What's behind you? So guitars. Another wall, anything else? The bed. The bed, ah, okay, okay, ah, okay. So Miss, está super lista, you are super ready to go, jump and sleep. <laughs> okay, so those are the most common propositions. Behind me is door. A door, yes, here as well. Yes. Behind me there is a door. Okay, so let's comparto here, I'm gonna share it parte de las propositions and guys vamos a practicarlas we're gonna practice them because that is the the objective here you can look for example at this picture and guys can you tell me a couple of things what do you see right here a donde están los objetos where are they for example um para decir que es lo que hay right in a place Yo voy a decir, there is, so there is and there are, right? So there is, a, uh, there is an, cuando son individuales siempre debo de decir a uh, or an or one. Y cuando son varios podemos utilizar there are a few, there are some, there are a lot. Pero claro, vamos a también indicar a dónde es que están estos objetos. For example, guys, um, what do you see in this picture? Que lo verán ver en la foto. What do you see um, like in this picture here? Car. Okay, demos la, demos la ubicación. Where is the car or where are the cars? On the roadway. On the roadway. Okay, what else? Like be more specific, be super specific. There is a car thread mm -hmm. behind the bus. Very nice. There we go. So there is a car behind the bus. Y como digo el color, el color siempre va antes. So there is a red car behind the bus. Perfect. Really good. Okay, guys, give me more. Give me more ideas. Describamos todos place. los detalles. There is a pet supply. There is between. a pet supply. Okay, where is the pet supply? There is between in people's shoes. Uh -huh. in, in fruit. And that's very nice. There we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. The bus, uh -huh. the bus is in front of the red car. 
Uh, okay, so the bus is in front of the red card. All right. There are some uh, some child's plays um, in an all. There are some children playing in the no Roma, no sé. In the ah, oh, like the in the park, no. No. This one, no. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you said there are some children playing in there. I didn't catch the word. No. <clears throat> Na loma teacher, algo así. Oh, in a hill? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So there are some children playing in the hill. All right. Yes, that works. Hill. Hill como una meter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there is, is a cat on the tree. There is a cat. Oh, okay. There is a cat on the tree. Oh, good. Wow. Que vista, guys. All right. There what is else? A scene in front of the bus. In front of the bus. Ah, there is like a, a bus stop sign. The sign? The, the, yes, there is a sign. This one, right? The bus. Okay, yes. very good. Yes, there is a sign like in front of the bus. Okay, good. There is a uh, woman walking with his uh, pet on the sidewalk. Okay, there is a woman walking. Yes, yes, that sounds good. There in front is of a, the, there the, is the one a, in front of the cafeteria, right? Okay. There is yes, a Mauricio? there is a car, a red car mm -hmm. between uh Ba yellow bath mm -hmm. and blue car. Very nice. Okay, good, 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 good. Give us more, give us more. Guys, there are a lot of things we can describe. Um, quick question. Where is okay? Where is the girl wearing a pink sweater? Oh, there is uh, next to the man. Next to the man? Oh, that's a good one. No revisamos next to. So let's include next to here. So next oh. to is a la par. Very good. Mm -hmm. In front of. Okay. In front of what? In front of what? In front, in front of, of what? Man. Okay. So the girl is in front of the man. Yes, that can work. Hi guys, hi Blanca, good evening. Who else is coming? Uh, Georgina, good evening. Bicycle. Hi Noe, okay. Yeah, the girl is riding a bicycle, exactly. <clears throat> Sorry. So we're talking about this girl, right? She is riding a bicycle and she is in front of the um, shoe store, right? Opposite the yellow bus, there we go. Okay, very nice job, exactly, guys. So, utilizamos that is and that are to describe all of these things. Um, now, I have just one more picture, but la vamos a describir en grupo. Give me one sec. So, we're going to describe it in group, right? Para que podamos practicar first. ¿Dónde están? Where are they? Uh, second, ¿qué es lo que hay? Remember, podemos usar that is, that are. Podemos usar uh, prepositions. We can use a lot of prepositions to describe donde es que cada uno de ellos está. Um, guys, vamos a armar un par de grupos. We're going to make just some groups. And give me a moment. Six. Okay, that will work. I know, hold on. Okay. Is, give me a second. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. On the... Okay. Okay, guys. So, uh, let's voy a compare. Esa es la, this is the picture que vamos a escribir. Try to describe everything you see, as many things as you can. A donde están, right? Where are they? ¿Cuál es la posición? And uh, remember, la idea es solamente practicar vocabulario, practice sentences. Eh, Blanca, Héctor, Ezequiel, Kenya y Mauricio 
eh, les va a llegar la invitación, pero quédense acá, please. Stay okay. here in the main station. Guys, los demás, vámonos a los grupos. Go to the groups. Tenemos cinco minutos. We have five minutes to describe it, and then we come back. So, vámonos, guys. Let's go. Solo déjenme confirmar que les estoy compartiendo. Ok, ahí está. Vámonos, guys. Let's work on Ok. Ezequiel, Kenya. Permítame que Héctor y Ezequiel se fueron. Se fueron. Creo que no escucharon uh, o se les olvidó. <ríe> ok. Hi, Ezequiel. Hi, Héctor. Ya minimo. Sí, ya, <ríe> ya los traje. I brought you back. Se me fueron. Ya, yeah, you left. <ríe> It's okay, totally fine. Es que siempre les llegó la invitación. Ok, yes. so, guys, eh, denme un segundo que Blanca también se me fue. Wait a second. Ok, guys, so, describamos la picture. Eh, uh, I'm going to turn off my mic para que ustedes puedan practicar un momento. Ok. There are many people in the park. There, there is one robot behind the, the girl, the child. Okay. There is a crowd on the park. Okay. There is a couple, there is a couple with two child. Okay. There is a policeman with your dog. There is another playing the guitar. He's in front of a lady who is reading a, a book. A oh, book. book. Okay. There is a grandmother in front of the girl paint. Where? In front of okay. the the girl. He, she is paint. Oh. Mm -hmm. Grandmother, grandmother. Okay. 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 There is a boy running on the on the way. Okay. There is a boy climb in the tree. In the tree. There is there is a umbrella. There is an an umbrella um, uh, down up the the boys. Okay, there is a rabbit under the table where is a boy uh, typing in his laptop. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, there is a bank. Uh, uh, there are two people and two child. Okay. There is a dog on the on the sea on the river. Okay. Um there is a garbage where they uh, they threw the, the trash. Okay. There is a rooster singing. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Mr. Mauricio. Yeah, hello. There, there is a plane. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is a plane. There is and a bird. 
<laughs> yeah, a bear, uh, or eagle. Uh, it's in an eagle. <laughs> it is is flying over over the people, over the crowd. Yeah. Okay. What else? There, the, there are seven house seven in houses. front of the people. Seven house in front of the people. Okay. There are some people wait waiting uh waiting the bus. They are in the bus stop. Yeah. Okay. There is a lake and in the swim Sydney oh. and, yes. and any person there is one basket color blue on the wall on the on the ground Okay. Uh, what else? What else? There is a ardia, como se dice? Square. Square. Uh, what? What? A square, parece que. Uh, well, there is a square climb the tree. Yeah, tree. Okay. It's seen as a sunny day. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, there, there are two child play soccer. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Two Good. little childs playing. Yes, yeah, soccer. Yes. And there is a boy painting a a view. Yes. There, <clears throat> there is a, a voice running on the strip. Okay. Uh, there, there is a barrel, a blue barrel next to, como dije, el letrero ese. Next to what, Mister? Uh, next Sign. to barrel, blue blue barrel, barril azul. Okay. O basurero. Next. Garbage. Garbage. Next to, ¿cómo se dice ese letrero? What next. do you say? Next to the the sign. The sign. Okay. There is one child. How do you say colgar? Hold. 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 Uh, hold in uh -huh. on the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gracias, Kill. Okay. What did you say, uh, Mister Mister Hector? Uh, yes, uh, there is one voice hold oh. on the tree. Oh, see, sí, el que tiene la yellow the, shirt. The nah. yeah. yes. yellow there shirt. is a ladder. Yes, there is a ladder. Yes. <laughs> um, there is a gear running. Y ese cosito, ¿cómo se dice? Zorrillo. <laughs> Yeah, the, the one on, on the treehouse. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that looks like a skunk. Oh, cierto, skunk. Mm -hmm. De hecho, Gadry Govan uh, wrote a, a son who called it like that. Mm -hmm. Uncle Skunk. Okay. <laughs> I had never... Oh, I hadn't heard <laughs> it. Okay. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hawaii. Hablale en inglés. Hawaii. Eso. Hello. 
How old is your baby? Uh, there is a uh... oh, teacher. He's my he's my he's my daughter. <laughs> ah, it, no, no worries. How old? How old is your daughter? She can speak English a little. Ah, very nice. ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old is she? <laughs> she she have four years old. Years old. Oh, she's a baby. <laughs> okay. She just... Just a little baby. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, teacher. There is a person painting in the yes. corner. There, there is a one person swimming on the river. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There are three friends, I think they are friends, uh, who have a picnic. Yeah. 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 There are one, how do you say avion? Plane. 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 Uh, on the on the sea on the sea on the uh, sky up on the sky there are um, five clouds in four trees Yes. Around, around the park. Teacher? Uh, you mentioned that they are around the park. Uh huh. Oh, no. Uh, which one? The squirrel? Uh, those trees. <laughs> oh, ¿cómo sería ahí, teacher? I'm sorry. Uh, the trees are around the park. Uh huh. The trees. But which trees are we talking about? Uh, oh no, están del otro lado. Mm, are you talking about? Wait, are you talking about these ones? Yes, teacher. Están ah. del otro lado de la calle. Yeah, we can use across. So sí, the trees across are road. across. Because mm -hmm. there is a, a road you need to cross. Mm -hmm. Es cierto, es cierto. There, there, is, there are four people wait a bus. Stop near near the the house yellow. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, 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 well. Oh, there is a postman. Yes. Ah, ok, ok. En el buzón, buzón azul va, buzón, yes. ¿cómo se dice? In front of the buzón. In front of the buzón. ¿A ti, Eva, teacher? Like a mailbox? Mailbox. Ah, mailbox. Mailbox. Mm -hmm. okay. The color blue. There is one so soon yellow. Beautiful in the sea and the sky. There are two olders having a conversation in a bank or chairs, no say, in front of the lake. Uh -huh. Yes. There is a policeman uh -huh. in front of a girl. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's in has raining because the grass is green. I think it's winter. There is a bus, the white bus across the street. Nice, good, nice. Um, 
it's a windy day. Mm -hmm. Se dice windy, but teacher? Um, yes, yeah, actually, yeah, it looks like it's a windy day because you can see the leaves falling yes. down the trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So it gives you some idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a windy day. I, I probably it's autumn. Probably it's like uh, it's otoño. It's autumn, I think. Autumn. Uh -huh. It looks like autumn. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, paper news on the strip near the basket. Can you see? Yeah. Where? Paper news uh, near basket. Yeah. In There are many buildings in in the background. Yeah. There is a lot of garbage on the floor next to barrel boob barrel. Barrel. Hay basura en el suelo, ¿verdad? Cerca yes. del barril azul. Y una plátano de cáscara. There is an apron. Yes. There uh -huh. is an apron, apron mm -hmm. on the city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, there are a lot of things. <laughs> so there are a lot of things we can describe in this picture. Some are kind of nice and some are kind of crazy. Guys, uh, do you see some garbage? Is there basura. any garbage? Mm -hmm. yes, Is teacher, there any garbage basura. here? And there are one. Yes, the garbage is uh, yeah. next to the sign. One, two, three. Three garbage next to the blue borrower. Okay. Yeah, so there there is some garbage, right? Next to the um well, I don't know if you can see this one. So it would be next to the yeah. garbage can, uh -huh. next to the yeah. sign, next to the women. All right, very nice. Okay, good. Uh, quick question, guys. Is there any dog in here? Is there uh, any dog? Yes. yes, it's in front of the policeman. Ah, okay, only one. Uh, no, two. Uh, the 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 another is um on the way behind the policeman. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one dog here. We got yeah. two more here. Yeah. But there is another one. Ah, really? Where is the other dog, guys? The other dog. Is there another dog? <laughs> I there think is, it is. Um, where? I, I, <laughs> Where is it? With uh, in front of the people have a cheer, white cheer, white cheer. In front of the people. In Where? there? White, white cheer. Ah, okay. So oh, yeah, there yeah, is yeah. a little dog right there. <laughs> yeah, there is a little dog right there. Okay, next one, guys. Is there a squirrel in this picture? Is there a squirrel? Squ a squirrel. Mm -hmm. Is there a squirrel? Yes, it's climbing a tree. Yes, exactly. It is climbing the tree. There you go. Okay. What is the squirrel teacher? This one, the animal. Look, this one. La ardilla. Uh-huh, that's ah, a squirrel. Yeah, yeah. Is, squirrel. There, is there a rabbit? 
Yeah. This yes. Is there a rabbit uh, Where? Under, under the, the table. table. Under the under table. Under the table. Okay. And is there uh, any fish? Yes, yes. It's on the fish bowl. Nice. Exactly. So it is in the fish bowl. Yeah. Um, do you see any swam? Yes, in the lake. Swam. Mm -hmm. swam. The animal. Yes. Is there any swam? Mm -hmm. Is there dog. any swan? A dog. Swam. Mm -hmm. A yeah. duck. A swan. A duck in. Uh, there is a duck in. I think I this. Is, I think I this is a duck, it. but this is a swan. Oh, so ah. a swan is white. Uh -huh. So a swan uh, is white. Okay, really nice. Teacher. Sorry, this teacher. swan is this animal. It is similar, very similar to a, ge a goose or a duck, but it is colored white. Um, un, un sí, cisne. Yes. Oh, swan. Mm, a swan, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sir. That's the one. Okay, very nice job with that. Now let's just take a look here really quick. Give me a moment. Okay. And we are going to go back to your material and uh, open up your book, guys. And go to page. Give me one second. One second. We are going to review questions super quick. So, uh, look at this conversation, guys. Uh, this is page number twenty-one. Twenty-one. Thank you so much. This is page number twenty-one, and it says, "Listen to the conversation." Mrs. Jen Jenner is supervising a new branch and she asks about the location of the places in the branch. Yesterday, veíamos que branch es como una sucursal, sucursal. right? Mm -hmm. Guys, I'll give you one minute. Les voy a dar un minutito. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Read the conversation. Eh, Revisen si vocabulario nuevo y ahorita la practicamos. I'm sorry. Give me just a second. Let me get some water. Sit significa asiento. Pante marcó de rojo. Sit.
Thank you. Y wind creo que significa ala, pero no sé en el contexto como fuera adentro de la nueva ala del edificio, creo que se refiere, pero no estoy muy seguro. <coughs> How do you make brunch? What? What? How do you say? No, how do you mean it? Yes, what significa brunch? Yo lo encontré como raro. Sucursales. ¿Cómo se dice mean during? I don't know. <laughs> I want to know. What? De turno, parece. What? Duri. De Duri. Es que está manchado de azul. El permisor de turno, sí, es correcto, Mita. Ok. Thank you.
Hey guys, I'm sorry. Um, I have a cough attack, but I'm back. <clears throat> All right, so I think I see like some words here. Um, usuario de Zoom. Eh, I'm sorry, solo usuario de Zoom, si nos ayuda con su nombre completo, please. <laughs> Porque no nos aparece y para control de asistencia, right? Para que no nos vayan a, a tomar. But like, uh, wrong here. All right, guys. So, veo por acá un par de palabras. Revistémosla super quick. <clears throat> and then we practice the conversation. So, guys, let's repeat it. We have duty. What is the meaning of duty? What do you think? Or, alguien sabe? Anybody knows? Duty? Teacher, Turno. mi nombre sí le aparece completo. No, Damaris. No me aparece. Solo me aparece Damaris. Pero usted no es eh, quien escribió, ah. ¿verdad? O sí. Eh. Sí, teacher, es que yo estoy trabajando, por eso no he podido conectar la cámara y he estado así como un poco alejadita porque tenemos evento. Ayer incluso no me pude conectar, pero ahora he tratado de estar ah, de oyente, teacher. Sí, no, tranquila, mis, no se preocupe. No, solo para, para propósitos de asistencia, no me le vayan a decir a, a, a no contar, right? O no le encuentre después y me ayuda con su nombre completo. No se preocupe, mis, no worries. Ok, teacher, ahora Igual alguien... mismo lo pongo. Thank gracias, you, gracias. Alguien me aparece como usuario de Zoom, guys, but eh, no sé si ya me cambié, todavía no. Ayúdenme con su nombre para que igual, you know, eh, en el control de Zoom no nos, no nos vayan a, a robar minutos eh, later. All right, so we have the word duty. Eh, for example, Adamaris is on duty. What is duty, guys? Turno. Duty? Turno, Podría turno. ser turno, yes, pero hay algo más. There is something more. Have you ever heard Call of Duty? ¿Alguien ha escuchado del juego? Call deber, of Duty? Deber, tarea. Exactly, deber, tarea, o obligaciones. So I can say I'm the supervisor on duty. So on duty es como estoy de servicio, right? O estoy ready here to, to work. So that is duty. Estar... Eh, listo para estar trabajando, right? So I'm on duty. Okay, guys, next one. La siguiente palabra that I can see here is list seats. What is seats? Are there enough seats for listeners? Asiento. Asientos, very good. So we have seats. How about lounges or recreational places? What is the meaning of lounges? What is uh, a lounge? Lounges. I'm sorry. Lounges. Arias. Yo salones. salones, yes, yes, that can be salones, that can be areas too. So, ¿cómo lo utilizo? It is quite easy, guys. Um, okay, I'm gonna use, a, I'm gonna use the word lounge. ¿Alguna vez han ido al, um, al aeropuerto? Yeah. So, yes. in, in the airport, de hecho, aparece eso, and there is a, like a lounge, right? como un área de espera, como un salón, maybe VIP, donde podemos esperar tú. Por eso pregunte, how about lounges or recreational places? Is there is like a lounge? Hay como un lugar de espera. Hay lugar, uh, algo donde ustedes pueden estar, right? And, Teacher. Uh, yes. And the, and the, sorry, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will be there. You and forgot the, it. And the, and the, and the food score is the same. A lounger. Uh, food score? Yes, it's the same. No, lo que sucede es que un lounge es como más un, como un lobby, como un área de espera. En el food court es más comercial. It's a little bit more commercial. So... Lunch is más como un salón VIP, mucho más cómodo, right? Hay algunos lugares en El Salvador así se llama, so lunch. Eh, algunos restaurantes también tienen, right? So, es como Fish un there. área super chill, yes? Lunch is the same lobby. Hmm. No, no, lobby... It's similar, but it is not the same. Lobby, por lo general, es el área de entrada, right? Um, and lounge es mucho más, eh, 
Uh, how can I say it? Well, creo que el ejemplo más grande es en aeropuertos, guys. No hay un lobby in the airport, pero sí hay un área donde usted se puede ir a sentar, so you can sit, y puede esperar su viaje. Um, in the hotel, where is the president? In the hotel, I don't know. I have never been to the hotel. Pero guys, si ustedes saben de algún lugar que tenga lunch, give us some examples. Probably you have been to. So, lo más seguro es que sí, porque algunos restaurantes la tienen in some places too. So, es un área super cómoda, right? Mm, really comfortable. Already. So it says, uh, how, how about lounges or recreational, recreational places? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. So wing, porque estamos hablando de como las zonas. Puede ser como un ala, right? Un espacio, un área específica eh, dentro del, del edificio. And guys, that's the one. So, ayúdenos a leerlas, guys. Help us read it. Can I have to volunteers? Me te Perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, escuché a un chico, pero no okay. sé quién fue. Yo, teacher. Ahí era voy, pero todavía estoy identificando las voces. Creo que fue Héctor, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, Dinora. I think it was, yeah, Dinora, ayúdenos con Miss Jenner. And Hector, ayúdenos con Michael, please. Okay, Tisha. Good morning. Perfect. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor, supervisor on, on die. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jenner. Let's get a start. Is there a conference room in, the, in here? And if so, are there no seats for the listeners? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hector, I think we lost him. Uh, yes, it is wrong of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Eh? Me perdí. El último párrafo, dijo. Right here, got it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, got it. How about long, launch of recreate? Recreational places. Is there alone? Yes, it is from of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay. Very nice. Okay, really, really nice, guys. Thank you so much for that. So, um, yes, the person here is preguntando de lugares como que hay, right? What is there? And si se fijan, la pregunta es bien fácil. Solamente intercambiamos, right? Intercambiamos. We just change the order. So, si yo digo, there is a conference room, la pregunta va a ser, is there? Yes. Si yo digo, there are enough seats, yo digo, are there? Are there. So, are there enough seats for listeners? And pretty much, esa es la idea de questions with there is and there are. Now, um, vamos a, a practicarlo. We're going to practice all of this para que sea más claro. Pero, guys, vamos a revisar también. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, a little bit of the exercise right here. So, vamos un poquito hacia abajo. Let's go to, <clears throat> let's go to page number 22, please. And in page 22, tenemos exactamente esto. We use there is para singulares. I'm sorry. Y utilizamos there are or are there para plurales. So, esa es la idea más importante. Um, singular questions, there is or are or is there, plurales. This, there are or are there. So, take a look at the exercise below. Write the questions that correspond to the answer. For example, number one, le pregunta, is there a conference room in your company? 
Yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. Number two. Guys, ¿cómo puedo hacer la pregunta en number two? Utilizando training rooms. Is there or are there? ¿Cuál de las dos suena mejor? Are there. Are there. Are there, porque tengo plurales. So, are there. Puedo utilizar eh, any, right? Para preguntas yo puedo utilizar perfectamente any. Para preguntar, hay algunos. So, are there any? Are there any training rooms in your company? No, there are not any. We have no training rooms. Number three, ayúdennos con la tres, guys. <clears throat> what, can, what question can we make in number three? Experience. Quiero saber si hay una clínica empresarial. Um, hay un error de dedo en el material. And vamos a quitarle solamente una letra. El, eliminate, please, clinic. Eliminate la letra C. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la pregunta, eh, Mauricio? Is there? Is there? Uh, on site clinic? Very good. Is there an on site clinic? No, there is not one. Number four, guys. Look at number four. Restrooms. Queremos saber si hay baños. What is the question? There are five restaurants are... inside the building. Yes, solo cambiamos el orden. Switch order. Are there there. Are... Cambiamos el orden. Are there. Are there. Are there. Exactly, are there. porque estamos preguntando. Very good. So, are there. Y siempre yo puedo agregar any. Para ser más específica, hay algún, hay alguno, hay alguna. Is there any restroom? Yes, there are five restrooms inside the building. All right, guys, and that is the one. So, um, vamos a practicar un poquito esto eh, in conversations. Guys, vamos a crear nuestras propias conversaciones. We're going to make our own conversations. Look at this. Five, write five questions use, uh, asking about places at work. Use is there, are there, and write the answers you get. Vamos a crear una conversación. Let's make a little conversation. Give me a moment. So, make a short dialogue, right? Using is there, are there. Al menos, guys, cinco preguntas. Vamos a hacer preguntas de su empresa, about your company. ¿Qué es lo que hay en su oficina? ¿Qué es lo que hay en la empresa? Right? Anything you can ask. Eh, creo que tengo un par de compañeros que solo están escuchando. Um, so give me one second. Veamos si podemos acá. <clears throat> Los voy a invitar, guys, a que nos unamos eh, a los siguientes grupos. Algunos compañeros are going to be listeners, so si se quedan solitos o ellos no, eh, or no les eh, corresponden, right? no les contestan, please guys, hay un botón que dice pedir ayuda o el signo de interrogación, lo presionan para saber y poder unirlos a un grupo diferente. Right? So guys, hagamos un diálogo, let's create a dialogue, haciendo preguntas sobre qué hay en la oficina. Intentemos también utilizar las preposiciones. ¿A dónde están? Right? Is there a restroom? Oh, yes, there is a restroom. The restroom is, I don't know, on the corner. The restroom is in the office, in the cafeteria. So podemos también dar la ubicación a dónde están las cosas. Eh, tenemos cinco minutos. We got five, seven minutes para escribirlo, para ponerse de acuerdo, and then lo presentamos. All right? Um, okay. There you go, guys. Seven minutes. Go and make your dialogue. Vamos a crear el diálogo, guys. Let's go.
Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for coming back. Um, so let's go ahead and, oh, me faltan todavía algunos. I'm missing some people. Okay, so guys, espero que hayan podido participar. I hope you were um, able to practice a little bit. Mientras los demás regresan, while the rest uh, come over here, we can have just some volunteers. Guys, ¿quién está listo? Who is ready? Y si no estamos listos, no pasa nada. Improvisemos, so we can improvise it. Yes? Mi teacher, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, perfect, perfect. Guys, let's do it then. So Abigail and Hector, right? No sé si pudieron practicar con Noé también. I don't know if you were able to practice with him. No, teacher. Ah, okay, 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 no problem. Okay, este... Good morning, excuse me. Is there any hospital in the city? Yes, there is one hospital in the First Avenue. Then, can you help me? Are there any banks near here? No, there aren't any banks near here. Only to a street between the police station and the church. Hi, thank you. Very gentle. You're welcome. Bye. Ay, very nice. Okay. De hecho, suena bastante fluido. Okay. Really good, guys. Thank you so much. Next person, guys. El siguiente o la siguiente. No more volunteers. Vamos con víctimas, guys. Let's go with victims. Probably we can get some. Um, let me take a look here really quick. Um, a lady, lady, are you ready? Puedo practicar con Abby? Sí. Okay, perfect. Good. Let's do it, girls. Okay. Hi, lady. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm not good because I can't find the training room. It's okay. Can I give you? Mm, yes, it's okay. The training room next to the cafeteria or in front of the garden on library. Mm, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. That sounds really nice. Thank you. Do we have another one? Okay, I like it. So now Santa Fluido, guys. Next, do we have one more? Uh, Juanjo, pudieron practicar Juanjo, Juanjo, Georgina, Maurice, and Mitchell? Yes, but Perfect. Mauricio, right. Our sentences. Please, okay. please, saque el pecho por el grupo, por favor. Okay. <laughs> no, pero es que él escribió, no es que él la vaya a tener que decir, right? <laughs> okay. Es que nosotros lo hicimos como eh, preguntando si habían cosas y respondiendo, ah. ¿verdad? No como ah, un yeah. diálogo, por ejemplo. Okay. The first Mejor question todavía, or one better. question is. Is there a printer in your office, inside your office? The answer mm -hmm. is yes, there is a printer in my office. Okay. Um, there is, is there okay. a cafeteria near your office? The answer is yes, there is. Mm -hmm. And other question I remember is, is, there are uh, oasis water or water oasis inside your office? The answer mm -hmm. were no. No, there isn't? No, there isn't. Okay. Okay, that's all. <laughs> ah, all right. So, no, but it's okay because yeah. you practice the questions. Very the, nice, really, very really nice. The other question is, uh, how many are there co-workers in your office? Ah, okay. 
Eh, Georgina, ¿me contesta, Georgina? Ah, the question is for her. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, so Georgina. Eh, yes. Yes, uh, there are co-workers in my office. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Okay. Only, only this. Oh, okay, sounds really nice. Thank you, guys, and really nice job here. Okay. <clears throat> eh, quiero ver, tengo, like, I got more. Wow. Okay. Eh, Ezequiel and Dinora pudieron practi eh, practicar un poco, guys. Were you able to practice? Teacher. Hola. In my case, I only write a sentences. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, cuéntenos, Miss, ¿qué escribió? What do you write? Okay. Number one, is there any kitchen in your company? Okay. Is there any bathroom in your office? Mm -hmm. The other are there computer in your office? Okay. Is there any phones in your desk? Mm -hmm. Are there any employees? Only that. Oh, but the questions are really good. All right. Yes. Sounds, actually the questions are okay. So grammatically talking sounds good. Okay. okay, guys, very nice. So let's review the following. Tenemos eh, un poquito más que revisar, but this is not related to questions. This is related like, ¿cómo indicar a dónde es que están algunas cosas? So in your material, tenemos la, la pregunta, excuse me, ¿a dónde, ¿cómo puedo llegar a este lugar? So how can I get to this place? And hemos estado revisando preposiciones like in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between, para indicar a dónde está. Pero no hemos revisado so far cómo dar instrucciones. How to give instructions. Y cómo decirle a alguien, ah, está a la derecha, está a la izquierda, váyase el fondo, váyase hasta atrás, etc. Um, so guys, really quick, revisemos un poquito. Let's take a look at uh, some words or some expressions que podemos utilizar para decir a dónde están algunas, eh, algunos lugares, right? First, en su material, guys, in your book, tenemos los siguientes. We have the following words. Primero les voy a mostrar acá. Vamos a utilizar este mapita que creo que es mucho más fácil. Eh, El del material es un poquito borroso, so vamos a utilizar este de acá. We're going to use this. Algunas expresiones, guys, que vamos a usar son las siguientes. Para dar direcciones, I am going to use walk straight, right, como camine recto, or go straight, or walk alone. So all of them, todos ellos significan vaya a ser recto, right? Walk straight, go straight, walk alone. Um, si quiero decir a la derecha o a la izquierda, I'm going to use turn. turn Guys, how right. do you say derecha? Uh -huh. Left. Right. Right. Very good. And izquierda, how do you say izquierda? Left. Left. Right. left. Excellent. So turn right, turn left. Dobla la izquierda. Or order right. La... <laughs> <laughs> si no se puede la, las direcciones, pues ahí sí, turn to the other right. <laughs> okay, so turn right, turn left. ¿Qué otras expresiones necesito? Por ejemplo, voy a utilizar go to the end of the street. Cuando le digo a alguien, váyase hasta el final de la calle, so go to the end of the street, right? Uh, so walk straight, go straight, walk alone, turn right, turn left, go to the end of the street. Um, what else? Tengo muchísimas más, but vamos a solamente revisar las más comunes, guys. Go to the end of the street. Tenemos, eh, si se recuerdan cuando revisábamos las preposiciones, tenemos up y tenemos down. Porque yo le puedo decir a alguien, suba, go up. Le puedo decir baje, go down. O si hablamos de las escaleras, si usted le dice, ah, suba al segundo piso, go up the stairs, go up to the second floor. O baje las escaleras, go down the stairs, go down to the basement. Entonces, utilizamos go up para subir, go down para bajar. 
So we can use all of those as well. And here, uh, en el mapa tenemos eh, nombres de calles, nombres de avenidas, así que that's why uh, escogí este mapa para hacerlo más fácil, because eh, in your material it's un poquito difícil the map that we have. So, guys, repitan conmigo, please repeat with me, y ahorita las practicamos. We have walk straight. Walk straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Walk, walk along. along. Suena como walk along, yes. Walk along. Walk along. Next one, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn left. Turn left. Turn turn left. left. Mm -hmm. Go to the end of the street. Go to, Go the, to end the end of the street. street. Very nice. And we have a go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Exactly. That's the one. Okay. Very good. Really, really good. Now, if I ask you, excuse me, guys. Uh, voy a hacer el map, es, estas palabras más pequeñitas. Las tienen en el chat. Pueden usarlas from the chat. Para que tengamos better visibility del mapita. Acá. All right. Um, for example, guys. I am, uh, digamos que uh, estoy here. I am in this position. I am between the toy shop and the supermarket. And from this place, yo quiero llegar, I want to get to the coffee shop. Vamos a hacerlo cortito. I want to get to the coffee shop. Yeah. So, and I start, excuse me, um, how can I get to the coffee shop? ¿Cómo puedo llegar, guys? Buscamos la ruta más fácil. Let's look for the, the, the fastest route. That would be by a Celestina, right? Go, go along. Go acá, uh -huh. into, into right. Uh -huh. and, and to right and to left. Uh -huh. And he's not safe. Va súper bien, ok. Busquemos la forma más fácil. Digamos, vaya hacia la esquina. ¿Cómo le digo vaya hacia la esquina? Go. Go to corner. The corner. Ah, go to the corner. O oh, lo tenemos acá. Go to the end of the street. So, go to the corner, go to the end of the street. Luego, derecha o izquierda. Turn right turn, or turn left. Right. Turn left. right. Turn right, porque vamos caminando hacia arriba. Yeah. Turn right. ¿Y cuánto voy a caminar? One block. One block. Exactly. So turn right and go straight. Vaya ese recto por un bloque. Go, uh, go straight or walk straight or walk alone for one block. Le puedo decir cuánto. For one block. Decía Héctor. Turn left. ¿Y a dónde está el coffee shop, guys? Where is the coffee shop? In the corner. Ah, it is on the corner. It is in front of, in front of what? In, in front, front of drugstore. Ah, okay. The coffee shop is in front of the drugstore. Or the coffee shop is across from the drugstore. Very nice. Yeah. Siempre damos lugares de referencia. Okay. Good. Uh, estoy en el mismo lugar. I'm in the same place. And I want to go to the university. Excuse me, guys. How can I get to the university? Walk along and to right. Uh, ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto voy a caminar? Two blocks. Ok, so walk along. Vamos a decirle por cuánto tiempo, por cuánto. Eh, so walk along for two blocks. Uh -huh. For uh, 20 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes. Sí, acá no tenemos la idea de cuánto. Yeah. Pero two blocks yeah. está perfecto. So walk yeah. along for two blocks. Y luego... Or, or right and to the corner. La right or left? Derecha o izquierda, guys? Left. Right. Right. Eh, vea, recordemos go que todo depende to para dónde usted vaya caminando. So walk go along the, for two blocks. Y para acá right. sería izquierda o derecha? Right. On the right. Right. Turn right. Y luego, then. Where is the university? ¿A dónde está? Where is it? 
Oh, in front of the city park. Um, ah, okay. It is across from the city park. It is in front of the city park. Alguien dijo por ahí está on First Avenue. Yes, it is on First Avenue. Mm -hmm. On First Avenue. Go to the, claro. go go to to the end of the street. Go to the end of the street. Okay. Ah, okay. Digamos que ahí termina la between the bank and the bookstore. Perfect. Very nice. Okay. Very good. Good, good, good. So, tengo un par de, um, I have a couple of places. Vamos a ponerlo fácil, guys. We're going to have it easy here. Uh, ¿De dónde vamos? Where are we going? Okay. Vengo de acá. I'm coming from here. Estoy exactamente acá. I like coming in this, this part. Usen los nombres de calles si se les hace más fácil. Right? Um, and vamos a seleccionar un, po, un par here. Number one, we are going to select. Okay, vamos a buscar. Primero vamos a ir a la iglesia. We're going to the church. Uh, después del church, me duele el estómago. So I am going to the drugstore as well. Mm, I need to. I need to buy some flowers, so I need to go to the flower shop as well. Okay, guys. Tenemos tres lugares. Excuse me, how can I get to the drugstore? I need to buy some flowers in the flower shop. How can I get to the flower shop? And how can I get to the church? Okay, guys, so really quick. Uh, les voy a dar like tres, cuatro minutitos. Si les hace más fácil escribirla, intenten escribirla. Si no, de una sola vez, intenten armarla in your head, right? Um, mm -mm. So, cuatro o cinco minutitos, guys, max. Pueden escribirla. Den siempre lugares de referencia. Está la par de esto, está el cruce de esto, para que sea más fácil. And remember, partimos de la, de la arrow, de la flechita aquí.
How you doing, guys? Encuentran difícil? Are you almost finished? ¿Cómo van chicos? Ya casi, almost done. No, Jeff, teacher. A little bit. A little confusing. Tú me dijiste que quería, no te acuerdas. Me dijiste caliente o no me dijiste caliente. Okay, guys, so veamos que es lo que tienen so far. Um, so, excuse me, people, how can I get to the flower shop? Walk straight two blocks. Okay, so walk straight for two blocks. Don't do left. Mm -hmm. Uh, work straight one block okay in, in the corner don't mm -hmm. the uh, right the uh, right okay work strike uh, one block mm -hmm. in the corner I stay flower shop in front of a police station. Okay, so it is in front of the police station. Yeah, sounds all right. Guys, ayúdennos. Uh, anybody else? Alguien tiene algo diferente? Do you have something Walk similar? On the street. Walk on the street. Uh -huh. One block, mm -hmm. two on left, okay. one total, one total strip, two block. Two block. The, uh, Two left, two blocks. Mm -hmm. well, I repeat, repeat. One, two. Quizás solo repeat. uno, maybe just one. one. Well, repeat one more time. Okay. Walk on a strip, one mm -hmm. block. Two left, mm -hmm. two left. Uh, the flower shop is in front of the city hospital. It is in front. 
Okay, okay, it is across from the city uh, hospital. Yes, I am kind of, uh, es que creo que escuché two blocks. Quizás solamente sería uno, right? Eh, los dos nos iríamos pasando. We will go like, go past. So, con uno sounds good, yes? Yo primero fui a la drugstore. <laughs> Vaya, mis, ¿cómo llevo a la drugstore? Era más urgente. <laughs> Vaya, guys, no hay problema. ¿Cómo llego? How can I get to the drugstore? Siempre en el mismo lugar, right? Ok. Go straight to block on Major Street. Uh -huh. Then to ride on the avenue and next to doctor office or in front of the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds all right. In front, we can use across también, across from. Okay, very good. Who has something different? Remember, it's directions, so we can have different here. Who has something different? Yes? I first go to the do, do drugstore mm -hmm. and after I go to to the flower shop. Oh, okay. How can I get to the drugstore? Um, I write, go along the Marjorie Street in to write the drugstore is is uh, in front of the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. It is in front of the coffee shop. Okay. Yeah, so in front of, across from, sounds good. And then you said that the drugstore fue a la flower shop. Yes, after ah, mm -hmm. walk, walk along 30, 30 lane in the flower shop in front of, in front of police, police station. Okay, so the flower shop is in front of the police station. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that works. Definitely works. So, creo que el, el punto de partida lo cambiamos, right? And that was the same. Okay, but it's okay. Totally fine. Um, okay. Okay, guys. Look, because of the time y el tema de las direcciones es un poquito extenso, we're going to continue tomorrow. Um, with this, vamos a revisar un poquito tomorrow cómo dar direcciones eh, here. Deben un segundo, guys. Solamente les tomo asistencia rapidísimo, super quick. And there we go. Oh, my computer is stuck. Okay, give me one second. Voy a tomar solo una captura because my, my computer is kind of, se ha quedado trabado. My computer is stuck. There we go. Okay, guys, so la captura nos sirve de asistencia too. Um, all right, thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, we are going to continue with this topic uh, tomorrow. Have an amazing night, guys. Yo sé que ya estamos cansaditos, but no worries. We can go and rest a little bit. Eh, ladies, si me regalo un par de minutitos, please, para nuestro one-on-one. -on -one. And guys, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. See you, see you. Have a good one. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow, Enjoy. teacher. Bye. ¿Quién me aparece como usuario de Zoom? I'm not sure. Gracias, Miss. Le voy a robar unos minutitos here. I'm going to steal some minutes of your time eh, para que revisemos solamente a couple of things. Gracias eh, por el tiempo, lady. Thank you so much. Eh, how are you doing, Miss? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo le va? Muy bien. Thank you. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's really nice to hear. Okay. Okay. Well, Miss, normally, el one on one es para ver si tenemos preguntas, si hay dudas, si hay algún tema que tenemos pendiente. Eh, yo quiero aprovechar también para agradecerle por la asistencia. Eh, siempre la veo, you know, conectada en. Eh, de repente la veo un poco tímida al momento de participar, pero no worries, esto se nos va a ir quitando poquito a poquito. Lo importante es que usted se vaya sintiendo más cómoda, right? And, uh, y que vaya sintiendo también el avance. Eh, 
Pero gracias mil también por la plataforma. So, yo veo que me ha avanzado bastante. So, thank you so much for that. Um, ¿Hay algún tema, mis, con la que le pueda ayudar? ¿O hay algo que, le, que considera que le está costando inglés? ¿O que no va al ritmo que usted esperaría ir? ¿O tiene algún feedback? ¿O any comment? ¿O anything? Bueno, en esta clase solamente una consulta con respecto a la diferencia entre in y on. In and on. Ok, nice. Uh, le muestro, déjeme ver, creo que por acá tengo una foto. Uh, de un segundo que ya lo cerré y creo que es más fácil. Pero normalmente si usted se ubica con sus manos, el in es esto de acá y el on es esto de acá. So on se refiere a superficies, algo que lo está tocando, right? En on se refiere, perdón, ese es on, en in se refiere adentro de algo. Eh, ahorita lo practicamos, denme un segundo que no sé qué le pasa a mi computadora, yo creo que ya es la hora también, ya está cansada. <risa> uh, o oh, ya no quiere, mis, denme un segundo. Ok, ok, ok. Vaya, revisando la figurita que teníamos antes. So let's take a look at the picture really quick. Um, and uh, creo que eso está perfecto. This is just perfect to practice. All right. So, in es todo lo que está adentro de algo más. Eh, so, estamos hablando de cualquier cosa, right? Mm -hmm. Ya me esté dentro del agua, dentro de una casa, dentro de un contenedor, so, adentro. En on es todo lo que está encima de una superficie. Por ejemplo, describamos, eh, déjame un segundo. Describamos este pedacito, vamos a enfocarlo acá. We're going to focus it here. Y describamos a, a esta mesa, you know, en todo lo que está acá. Intente describirlo, try to describe it. ¿Cómo lo describiría? And there is a example. And uh -huh. there is a laptop on the table. Exactly. Um, no sé cómo sería en inglés, pero podría ser el pez está en el agua. Exactly. En Entonces, exacto. Entonces ahí venimos y vemos está adentro. ¿O está sobre? Mm -hmm. el, el pedacito está dentro. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. So the fish is in. in the fish boy. Exacto. That is the difference. Um, que el in me indica algo que está dentro de algo más, right? So the fish is in the fish bowl. But the laptop is on the table. No puedo decir the laptop is in the table, right? En español lo que pasa es que para ambos decimos está en. O, eh, y es lo mismo para mm -hmm. nosotros. But this is a little different. Okay, uh, for example, look. Y vayámonos al pond. Hay como un pequeño estanque. Let's take a look at the pond. Um, ¿Qué hay dentro del pond? What do you see that is like in the pond? Mm. In the boy? No. Uh, yes, the boy. The boy is in. Porque el chico no es que esté sobre. Está dentro del estanque. The boy is in the pond. Ok, ¿qué más? Mm. On the cisne. Ajá, uh -huh, the swan. Exactly, the swan is in the pond. Creo que por ahí también hay un duck. Creo que hay un pato, so the duck is in this uh -huh. one. So de, utilizo in para describir dentro y utilizo on para describir superficies. Now, ese es uno de los usos. That is one of the uses. Pero ahora hablemos un poquito de cosas más grandes. Let's talk about big things. And vamos a ver, para eso utilizar la foto siguiente, we're going to use the following picture. Ok. Algunas veces 
voy a utilizar in and on para hablar de otras cosas. Por ejemplo, on siempre lo utilizo para calles, para avenidas, para bulevares. So on es para streets. Como los nombres de las calles, por ejemplo, las avenidas y todo eso. Imagínense en El Salvador, decimos, ah, la empresa está sobre el bulevar Venezuela. ¿Cómo diría el está sobre el bulevar Venezuela? Por ejemplo, el Molsa está sobre el bulevar Venezuela. O está en el bulevar Venezuela. ¿Sería in o sería on? Sería on. Sería on porque es una calle al final, right? Streets, boulevards, avenues, para eso utilizo on. Y voy a utilizar in también cuando estamos hablando de lugares mucho más grandes, pero el in va a involucrar, por ejemplo, towns. Involucra towns como pueblitos, towns, eh, cities, que son mucho más grandes. Por ejemplo, yo quiero decir en San Miguel, la gente come pupusas con salsa. <ríe> ok, so no voy a decir on, on San Miguel, voy a decir in San Miguel, porque San Miguel es una ciudad. Uh -huh. So in San Miguel, in La Libertad, in San Salvador. Si quiero hablar de una ciudad, lo mismo. Eh, o por ejemplo, en el parque. ¿Sería on the park or in the park? In the park. In the park porque es mucho más grande. Entonces, el on es para superficie. Um, ve a la mujer que está acá. Look at the woman eh, que está aquí en la tiendita. No sé si la logra ver. Sí. ¿Cómo describiría esta mujer? There is, um, There is a woman um, or, on, or in? In the shop. In, in the... porque ella está dentro. Exactly. Si estoy hablando de estas niñas que están en el bus, también están adentro del bus. Si yo digo on, significa que las niñas están acá subidas en el bus. Entonces on es para una superficie eh, que está sobre y el in está adentro, no necesariamente en un lugar pequeño, right? puede ser un lugar amplio también. Pero acá, por ejemplo, las niñas están adentro del bus. The girls are in the bus. The woman is in the shop. Pero ahora vea el gato, please. Uh, look at the cat here. Mm -hmm. The cat. On. The exactly, tree. the cat is on the tree. El gato no está dentro del árbol. El gato está sobre la rama del árbol. So it is on the tree branch or on the tree. Está sobre, right? Entonces esa es como la diferencia más grande. On toca una superficie y está adentro. So mm -hmm. esa es la más grande. Un poco mejor, a little better. Yes. Yeah. Les voy a compartir eh, mañana un ejercicio para que ustedes en su tiempo libre right, uh, puedan entrar, puedan revisar y puedan eh, pues checar un poquito eh, la parte de proposiciones. Este es un recordatorio, pero como a veces si no lo practicamos se nos va olvidando. Right? So les voy a compartir un ejercicio para que lo practiquemos y mañana seguimos con direcciones y proposiciones. All right. Okay. So, Mil gracias, Lady, por eh, conectarse. Gracias por el tiempo y espero que descanse, Miss. I hope you sleep well. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye, Miss. Good night. Good night.